Hi, my name is Jamie Thompson and you're watching one of a series of videos that demonstrates the capabilities of Cozy Rock Software's suite of tasks and components for SQL Server integration services. The demonstrations herein were built using SQL Server Integration Services 2008. However, the Cozy Rock tasks and components are available for both SQL Server Integration Services 2005 and 2008 in both 32-bit and 64-bit editions. For more information, please visit www.cozyrock.com. In this video, we're going to talk about CozyRock's bulk destination adapters for when you might encounter databases that are non-SQL Server and which you may want uh, to load data into quickly. CozyRock provide destination adapters for Oracle, Infomix, DB2 and also for, DB, for ODBC compliant destinations as well. If we go into the toolbox we can choose items well, let's add these things in here we go to SSIS data flow items and there's a few of them we need to add in, let's scroll down, we have a DB2 destination we have an Infomix destination we have Oracle and we have ODBC click OK and you see that those destination components have been added to the toolbox for us. Okay, now I said in the introduction that Cozyrock provide an, a number of components for inserting data into various non-SQL server uh, databases. One of those is Oracle. They have a destination component for Oracle and I, before I talk anymore what I'm going to do is set this data flow task running. I'll talk through a little bit what it's doing as it's executing. If I go into this data flow you'll see that it's consuming 3000 rows from a raw file component and it's inserting that into an ADO.NET destination component. That's the ADO.NET destination component that you get with SQL Server Integration Services out of the box. Now what that is actually doing is taking those 3000 rows and inserting them into an instance of Oracle 11G. So it's an Oracle 11G database. As you can see, it's taken quite a while to do that. We've only got 3000 rows here. Okay, and it's now complete. But 3,000 rows isn't a lot, and that took quite a while. Let's go to the progress tab. We can see that it actually took 36 seconds. So 3,000 rows in 36 seconds is not really great performance. And that's pretty typical of the ADO.NET destination. If I switch over to my other data flow, this takes data from the same raw file, so it's going to take the same 3000 rows, it's going to insert it into the same table in the same database, it's using the same ADO.NET destination, sorry, the same ADO.NET data provider under the covers, that's the ADO.NET data provider that is provided by Oracle. The only difference is that here we're using CozyRock's Oracle specific destination component, and it sits on top of uh, the ADO.NET provider that is provided by Oracle. So before it took 36 seconds using the out of the box component and it won't surprise you to know that this one is going to execute a lot quicker than that. It should take no more than a second in fact. There you go, there's our 3000 rows. They've gone into Oracle into that same table as before but you know, it's a heck of a lot quicker than the 36 seconds that it took before. Hopefully you'll see that the Cozy Rock Oracle destination is an excellent choice if you want to insert a lot of data into Oracle very quickly. Certainly a much better choice than the ADO.NET destination that you get out of the box with SQL Server Integration Services. Okay, it's a pretty short demo, but um, I think that's all that we really need. It, it shows how much quicker it is, um, and I hope this has been useful, and I hope you get some use from Cozy Rock's Oracle destination in the future. So thank you very much for watching.